In this video, we're going to learn how to enhance, create and retouch beautiful eyebrows in Photoshop. Whether you are using a mouse like me or a Wacom tablet, we can do this no problem. Right from creating those individual hairs to shaping the eyebrows, everything, it will be a lot of fun. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop and this photo was submitted by Andrus Vargas. You can check more of his work right here. He's an awesome portrait photographer. So let's jump straight in. All right. So as you can see, I have already created two layers. This is the background layer and this is the layer above it. It's just the cleanup where I've cleaned up the blemishes and the dark spots and stuff like that from the face. All right. So let's quickly look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. All right. So the first thing that you need to do, have a look at her eyebrows. So her eyebrows have very less hairs and she has applied some kind of thing to make it dark. I don't know the makeup stuff. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, so click on this gray white icon circle one and select hue saturation and then take the saturation a little down. We can always adjust this later because this is non-destructive adjustment layer. Okay, take the saturation down maybe around 40, 45 ish. Good. And change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Oops, not color burn, multiply. Now, what is this? We are creating hairs, but what is this? So let's go ahead and just flip the mask first. Then you'll get what I'm trying to do with this. Okay, now the mask is white, which means the effect is being applied throughout the image to the complete image. So we need to invert that. To invert it, control or command I. Now the mask is black. Okay, now what are we going to do is we're going to create individual hairs, hairs, take the brush, make it smaller and we're going to create hairs like this with white color. Okay, make sure the foreground color is white and then make sure the mask is selected and then we're going to create hairs like this. So first thing, as you have already guessed, make the brush a little smaller, maybe two pixels. It depends upon the thickness of the hair and the image that you're working on. If the head is too small in the fur, if the face is too small, small brush. If it's a close up, big brush. And for this example, I guess I would choose something like three and increase the hardness maybe all the way to 96, 97, 98 and 97 is good. And the hairs would be like this. Now, these are pretty thin. We would go with increasing the size just a little bit. Four, how does the four sound? Nope, maybe five. I guess five is good in this case. Now, as you can see, we are not getting that smooth hair kind of stuff, right? It's not that smooth stuff. So what you can do, you can go to windows and go to brush. And then in the brush section, go to shape dynamics and change the control to fade. Now, if you're using a graphic tablet or a Wacom tablet to be specific, you can control this via pressure. You can choose pen pressure and you can control this. If you do it light, it will paint light and you get the idea. But if you're using a mouse, you have to choose something like fade. And then you change the diameter and have a look. You get that natural look, right? So thicker when you start it, thinner when you end it. Now, how long will it be thicker is controlled by the diameter. If the diameter is high, it will go thinner late. If the diameter is low, it will go thinner really quick. So in this case, I will choose a diameter of maybe something like 52 or maybe 60. Okay, now we are ready to paint the eyebrows. So make sure the flow is 100, opacity is 100, white is the color, foreground color and just simply paint in the eyebrows in the direction of the actual eyebrows. But here's the thing guys, it's difficult painting this way. So what to do? Easy. Press R, use the rotate key to rotate the way you can paint it easily, right? For example, if she was bent like this, you could have rotated it to paint. It's easy to paint this way. So let's go this way. And now let's paint. Take the brush again. Now let's paint. I'm going to fast forward this so that you don't get bored. Now here's the thing, doing it with a mouse, it's going to be a little difficult, but that shouldn't be an excuse for not being able to do it. So I'm going to do it with a mouse just to show you. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. I know what you're thinking. This is looking super crazy, but wait, but wait just a little bit. Wait, have patience. This will look okay. 
okay all right this will look okay now once you're done with it all you have to do decrease the opacity to match it there you go have a look before after now still if you're not matching do this open up the mask properties you can double click on the mask to open up the properties also as you can do select the mask and go to windows and then select properties opens up the properties and increase the feather there you go there you go increase it just a little bit maybe 1.9 pixels have a look before after just like real hair there right have a look now it's time for us to trim it to shape it now i have already created a video on how to trim eyebrows if you have not checked it out yet check it out so i'm not going to go in depth i'm going to really really do it really really quickly to watch that video click here on the card right here okay so select the cleanup and select an area just above the eyebrow with that shape select the lasso tool and very precisely select make a line in the shape of the eyebrow right so if you go wrong that's if you have to do that again all right something like this and then take a loop back and close it now all you have to do press q quick selection tool let's blur the selection out go to filter blur gaussian blur and let's blur it out according to how the actual eyebrow is blending with that of the skin so as you can see in this the actual eyebrow is taking this much space to blend with the skin so that way we should have something like 7.4 all right let's zoom out press q again and this returns you back to the selection press controller command j and now we have that part of the skin on its own layer. All we have to do, take the move tool and move it down. There you go. Right? You get the idea. Now you can move it this way to shape the eyebrow that way. Awesome. Now have a look. Before, after. So we have the eyebrow shape, but it's not smooth enough. This line is showing up. We can make it smooth simply by creating a mask. Create a mask. Take the brush. Increase the size of the brush, this time make it softer. And then what you do, make sure black is the foreground color. Decrease the flow to somewhere around 20-ish and start painting around the edges to make it smooth. There you go. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Now if you want to shape the ends, you can do the same thing. You can take a sample from here and push it this way push it this way you can take as many samples as you want but this gives you a general idea on how to shape eyebrows and create them beautifully so let's look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after new hairs totally shaped and also what you can do you can shape this too so let's go ahead and let's take a sample right from here take this and let's take a sample right from here and q and add filter gaussian blur same thing and q back again controller command j and then place it right there we got that right okay let's look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after isn't this beautiful so it's almost done isn't it though uh, we have forgot to rotate it back to its own state so press r again and reset view now it's original state also, I'm not in the mood to do the other eyebrow. You can do that yourself. You get the idea. You have the tricks in your bag. Also, remember we decreased the saturation of the hue saturation. Now you can go back to that. Let's zoom in a bit first. Now you can go back to the properties and play with the saturation to the ones where it matches. Okay, so this one doesn't match. This one just matches. Maybe 29 or 30, something like that. All right. So that's how you do it. Let's ignore the whistling and let's take a quick recap. So the first thing that we did is to create an adjustment layer. Which adjustment layer? Hue saturation adjustment layer. Take the saturation down. Then invert the mask, right? Change the blend mode to what? Multiply. Take a brush, decrease the size of the brush and increase the hardness of the brush. Also, change the brush properties if you're doing it with a the mouse. Then draw all those hairs now once you have drawn the hairs decrease the opacity to match it if you cannot yet match it what you can do you can increase the feather in the mask properties then you can go ahead and shape the eyebrows to shape the eyebrows take a sample from above the eyebrow and below the eyebrow and replace it and that's pretty much it you can always go back to the hue saturation and see which one matches the most 
So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one till then. Stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.